Holy cannoli. The master bedroom? Good thing there's no zombies back here. I probably would have screamed like a girl. Look at this texture. Look at this bathtub. This is so cool, man. Hello everyone, it's your survival buddy Jaggernaut here, hanging out today, playing some more Seven Days to Die. Oh, that house just disappeared. Playing some more Alpha, 17, Alpha 16 on a new random generated server. I figured out what exactly is going on when we get those great big open blank spaces. So hopefully this map, uh, which comes highly recommended on the interwebs, is uh, acceptable. So if you like the video, if you like this series, don't forget to hit that smash Hit that, man, I just came back from vacation and my brain is still gone. So hit that like button for me if you would be so kind. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So we're here in this new town. I already skipped the first stages. I kind of got a lot of crap going on already. And we just need to get going. <laughs> so we don't want that. Let's look, let's go ahead and get started in this building over here. Um, something that we're, our first goal actually is not to build a house. Our first goal is to get a gun. Because of those pesky vultures, someone left in the comments a way to deal with them. And I want to give that a try. So we're going to look for that. So we're on the lookout for gunpowder and paper. Normally we skip over those things this early in the game, but I kind of want them. And it is very dark in here oh it's floating okay I miss our miners helmet very much it is very dark and uh, very dark and I can't see a dang thing and neither can you oh tell me. oh crap that didn't kill you man that killed you. Okay, good. Shh, quiet. You have my torch back. No, can you? That would be really nice if, it's, if it would put it on the hot bar again. Oh, there's another one right there. See him? You can see his leg. Shh. Shh. Oh, got him. Okay. Ew, he's spurting blood out. That's gross. Oh, dude, businessman, you're the best. Potted plant. I do not want you, potted plant. Oh my gosh, the darkness. I, I miss my helmet. Wait, is that one right there? No, that looks like a plant. Okay, let's pick up our magic floating torch. And put it back on our hot bar because it is stupid. Hello? Hello? Why are these candles still lit? Who's maintaining these candles? Am I going to kill the only nice, good zombie there is? The one who's maintaining the candles? Hello? Oh my gosh. Ah! Quick! I cannot see a dang thing anymore. Did I kill you? Good, I killed you. Whew. Oh my gosh, now put it on the hot bar. That is an awful mechanic, devs. You can do me a solid... And have those be persistent. That would be great. Why are there so many doors? I don't remember. I don't know. We might have to lock, knock one of these doors down. I feel like this one, since it's off center, is not going to lead to the outside. Nope, it doesn't. Ah, oh, there's one right there. How come you don't die like the other ones do? Great. I was going to wander around in strange paths. Stop. In the name of love. Okay. Bathroom. Clear. Clear. Okay. Uh, that's good. Everything I find these days is basically good. Oh my goodness gracious, that is very good. We like the med kits and blood bags, which are kind of gross if you really think about it. Really old. Who knows how old these blood bags are? And I'm actually going to take poo water. Okay, don't judge. Give me back my torch. Let me put it back on hot bar. <laughs> okay, was that all the zombies in here? Can we loot this place? Anybody gonna get up and scare me? Alright. Oh my gosh! Paper. We need paper. A box of some sort. 
It's empty. I wish I could pick it up and bring it with me. A coffin? Sorry, buddy, but you don't need these drugs. Why does this guy have drugs on him? He's... No, I didn't want to use it. I didn't use it. I'm confused. Kate, alrighty. That's great. Nothing in the other guy's coffin. How about this box? Nothing in this box? Okay. Alright, I think we're good in this place. I'm going to keep looting these places around here. And if I find anything interesting... Or deadly, or disastrous. I'll bring you back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, this is the creepiest place I've ever been. Uh, this this church is attached to a mortician's office, which has these furnaces in them. Like, uh, W, are you stuck inside there, man? That's awesome. That's real great. Um, <laughs> this is just, this is weird. Like I have never experienced. A place, a game, that has this level of detail in its game. Like a mortician's office complete with furnaces and coal. Like, that's unreal. That's absolutely bizarro. These actually open. Some of them do. Not all of them. It's kind of strange. But I saw these doors on the outside. I was like, wait a minute. There's got to be more space inside here. And there was. <laughs> There's a mortician's office and um, um, a crematorium. Cremator's place where they burn up bodies. That's weird. That's really weird. That's all. Over and out. Okay. It's just about nighttime. And I think I, I want to show you this house. But we might have to deal with some zombies outside. This place is freaking huge. So it's got these, this bathroom, which is very nice. Uh, I looted it already, and I'm completely full of stuff. Oh, what? Where did I get these? Go ahead and use a couple of those. I need those. And use this one. This is the bedroom. This must have been the proprietor of the establishment. He is a very wealthy zombie. And he's got a nice walk-in closet. Nice bed. Another bit of storage. For some reason, I don't know what that is. A nice big... Uh, living room upstairs. He had a nice safe that I looted. It was not safe from me. <laughs> so, this place is pretty cool. Um, some more storage. This, this room weirds me out for some reason. I don't know if it's the textures or what, but it is just super weird. Then he had his office where I was attacked by a stripper. That's her right there. We Now we know what the rich do with their time. Another nice, uh, let's see, can I attack you for leather? I sure can. Give me all your leather. I need to make something. Uh, I've been, I've only made it through one, two, three, four buildings since we've been talking. I'm, I made a little pit stop inside of a church and set up a campfire and stuff. But I think I'm going to weather the night here. It's 21 o'clock. I honestly can't remember what that is at regular time. 21 minus 12 is, uh, 9 o'clock. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm terrible at this, I know. <clears throat> I found this nice flashlight. Uh, did I loot this pile of trash? I sure did. They've got a nice kitchen. Super nice kitchen. You gotta be careful about zombies. Uh, I didn't search the refrigerator. Just garbage in it. Uh, let's see, let's go. Yeah, it's just a super... Like, this is... I don't ever remember finding anything. <gasps> What's this back here? Oh, man, I haven't been back here. Holy cannoli. The master bedroom? Good thing there's no zombies back here. I probably would have screamed like a girl. Look at this texture. Look at this bathtub. This is so cool, man. And I think this is supposed to be a shower. Even though it looks like a solid piece of glass. And of course, everybody holds their, uh, saves their pistols in, no, not the turds. Everyone keeps their pistol inside their toilet. That's just, you gotta look in the toilet. If you're ever in a zombie wasteland, you guys, make sure you search the toilets. It's snowing. There's zombies everywhere. <laughs> Outside. <clears throat> so I need to hurry up and run up, did I search that? Run upstairs and hide. Uh, do I have 20 leather now? I sure do. So I can make a bellows and I can probably make... A, a forge which I'm going to do upstairs after it's gonna just make these a little bit better really quick oh that one was a metal one I did not want to do that 
And this one. Needs. Ugh! Okay, never mind. We're just gonna run upstairs and barricade the door. Shh. Oh, there's more. There's more. We gotta check it out. Another bathroom. Some more bedrooms. And that goes out to the garage. Like, super cool. Super cool stuff. Can we upgrade this? Yep, we sure can. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's run upstairs real quick. Um, can I make a couple of these? I can't, actually. I have zero room. Uh, let's go ahead and put you down. And combine. Uh, sort the inventory. No, you're supposed to combine stacks. And I need two of these, please. I cannot see a dang thing. Can I not put them? That'll do, I suppose, right? I should stay there. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade these boxes just to make sure nobody gets up the stairs. Watch out for crawlers. Uh, this probably not. Whoa, what's this light coming from? Weird. Okay, it's almost nighttime. We gotta put down our bedroll. Good enough. Alright. I'm actually. Can I put my torch down where the. Wait, where's my torch? Oh, it's over here. I want to put this torch over here so that I can see if somebody's coming up here. Okay, good. Now, bellows. Bellows. Craft. Which means I can then craft a forg. Look at us. Day one. Actually, what day is it? Yeah, day one. We're already making a forge. Because we're awesome. I don't have any clay. I don't have enough stone. Dang it. All right. What did I... What was I going to make a forge for? Oh, I need forge iron. Which I need clay for. Because <laughs> I have lots of iron. I wanted to make a blunderbutt. Uh, I don't need you, and I don't need you. 37 iron, that's it, huh? Oh, and I don't want you. We'll just toss you. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait the night out here, hopefully not die, and uh, we'll continue on tomorrow. We need to go find some clay so that we can make some forged iron so we can make a blunderbuss, because that's what our goal is for today, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the house tour. This is a sweet house. Uh, I'm not going to make it my base, because that would be ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I think we're ready. I've been cooking up iron and gathering up resources, and we have enough for a blunder bus. A primitive muzzle loader that can be crafted mainly from mainly forged iron, effective at very close ranges. So in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, we will be ready to take on any amount of buzzards. So while we wait for that, let's be very careful. <laughs> So far, I've been doing pretty good. I have not run into any, uh, like, dogs or any um, wolves or vultures or anything like that. So, so far, so good. We haven't had much of a problem of anything. But uh, I got mostly iron tools now. I still need a good iron club. What is the damage on this guy? 7.5 and 7.9. Yeah, so my fire axe does just a... Teeny bit less my iron fire axe, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You'd think that an iron fire axe would do a great amount of damage over just a regular club. Don't you think? You've got a club, big stick of wood, basically, and a fire axe. Yeah, just look at that sucker. Okay, phew. Okay, a car battery. I uh, don't really have much use of that for right now, but we'll take it anyways. I do need water. I need a I need a water source. Now I did see Wait what? Am I gone funeral home? Am I gone Lazy H. <laughs> I thought I saw somewhere around here there was a um a water wait back there. So I wonder if we could like somehow fill up our empty jars with that water? Maybe? Okay, here we go. This is where we want to be. Okay, here we go. Alrighty, righty here we go. Now we're rolling inside a house with zombies in it. Like you, lady. 
Dead gum cheerleader. Are you all alone, cheerleader? Or do you got buddies in there? Huh? Would you tell me? Shh. Oh, man. Is this your bathroom, cheerleader? Do you got boys in your bathroom? Nope. No boys in the bathroom. Uh, do zombies have relationships? I played a game uh, a long time ago that said that they do. But we won't go to that because that game is kind of nerdy. Are there guns? Do you have a gun in your toilet, cheerleader? No. No. What do you have on your... Oh, no, you're not. Just a generic pile of nothing. So we'll go ahead and scrap those. All right. All right. Next door. No. Oh, shh, shh, shh. You idiot. Wake up the zombies inside. <laughs> you scared the crap out of me, zombie. You scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> Alright. We are not too good at this game that we can avoid all... Oh, what did I get out of that? That was weird. Uh, that I can avoid all jump scares. Skater zombie! Can I wear this? I'm just... I'm not a cross-dresser in real life, but... <laughs> He's wearing a skirt. Oh, okay, scrap that. I just wondered. Don't judge, okay? This is a judgment-free zone. We're in a zombie wasteland. I can do what I want. Okay. All right. Let's get back down. Zombies everywhere. You never know where they are. They freaked the heck out of me, man. Oh, nice. No, we definitely have to wear this. Does this not just scream survivor? Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Survivor of the fittest. I now have a really nice shirt on. And there's probably zombies over here. Shh. Shh. Okay. Okay. No zombies over here. But they're probably in here. Hello? Zombies? Oh, my gosh. I hate the zombies. Oh, wait, is our gun done yet? Our gun is done. Quick! We must go outside. Quick, no, no, what are you doing? Stand up. Quick, I don't care about zombies right now. Oh, 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 man. Do I get to see what we look? No, he's not carrying anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. I got a present for you. I don't have, oh, there's my uh, crosshairs. Hey, cheerleader, come here. Come on here. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, this, that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> it sure knocked her off her feet, but uh, it did not kill her. But I imagine that we could kill um, vultures with this. And that's really its entire purpose, is to kill vultures. Where'd the other zombie go? Oh, there's your buddy. Hey, does it knock everybody down? Kablam! No, it does not. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. <laughs> Die. Die. The reload time is a nightmare. Okay, yeah, I just knocked your block off with a stick. All right. Blunderbuss is wonderful. I'm so... I wish I could go into third person so we could see what it looks like while I'm carrying it. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> you can see the little hammer. Okay, so that's cool. We have a blender bus. We now have a way to avoid, because I think we're right on the edge. Yeah, over here is probably where we're going to find some of those vultures. But not today. No more vultures be killing me today. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. All righty, daddy. Now we're rolling. All right. Wait, why is it telling me to craft a campfire? I thought I already did that. You saw the campfire. You maybe have seen it out of the corner of your eye. But, I don't know. So we have to make a campfire. Anybody in here? Oh, look. Check out this washing machine. That is like the coolest texture I've seen in a long time. Leather gloves. I'll take those. Now, uh, let's get the blunder bus out. Because there's probably going to be zombies up here. Zombies. Check the corners. Let's go ahead and stick our uh, thing out there. That attract the zombies. You guys like the light? Maybe? <laughs> Alright. We'll 
clear this house out and then we'll figure out some. We'll go check out that water tower. Phew! Okay, no zombies. Just weird lights coming through the floor that I don't quite understand. Nothing up here, man. This house was a bust. That other house is way cooler. What's that? I don't know. It's weird. This place is weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, no, we gotta loot the kitchen. I'll loot it later. Maybe. Let's do it. Just do it real quick. What do you got here? I'll take those. Scrap them. Nothing. Scrap them. Uh, scrap. Too quick on the finger. I'm too quick with that E button. What do you got, trash compactor? Duct tape. I will take your duct <gasps> I heard something. Shh. Loot quieter, you idiot. It's a zombie wasteland. You want to be eaten by zombies? Got a lot of empty cans in here. And bottles, which I probably don't need anymore because I have so many. Oh, can you hear that? That refrigerator just freaked the heck out of me. I thought it was a zombie dog. Wait, is there anything in here? Glasses? Nerdy glasses? Are those a play on the glasses we found in the other game? Okay. Alright, what do we got? Let's go make a quick stop inside the church. You can see it says right there, church. And we'll drop off all of our stuff, and then I'm going to head over and try and make it to that water tower, see if we can get a reliable source of water. So I'll be right back. Okay. We're here. Looks like there's a bunch of them. <laughs> Across from a military base, we're probably not going to go over there because we'll blow up. And these major, massive houses and a blueberry farm. This place is great. This, oh, no, no. This place is huge. Oh, hey there, buddy. Is my club done yet? No, it is not. Suck it. Who else is coming after me? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you! Stop, you zombie. You can't crawl with one arm. It'd make you go a lot slower. You are... I hate these zombies. I would use my blunderbuss, but I don't know who's around here. Would you just die forever? Thank you. And you didn't even have anything worth it, you nasty dead goat zombie. Okay. We're up here. And... That probably has really good loot over there, though. Yeah, see, I see him. I wonder if we could just stay up here doing a horde. Probably not. Okay. Um. Do we do we have to break down inside of it? Maybe. I don't. <laughs> Water! Okay, so there is water in here. But now how do we access it? Let's break a couple more of these guys over here. And so that we can get down close to it. And maybe... Because what I'm afraid of, if I jump in there, I'm just going to drown. <laughs> you know, I won't be able to get back out. Uh, I want to be able to get in without spilling the water. So that we can... Where's my jars? Fill up these jars. Now, let's get a flashlight in here. Okay, if I break this one out, I should be able to reach the water without actually being down inside and hopefully be able to get out. Okay, yeah, look at this right here. How deep is it? Well, here goes nothing. It's super deep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, this is bad. Okay, this is real bad. Hurry up! We're drowning! Oh no, I already have a frame! Okay, back up to the surface. Okay, we're okay. And, uh, right there. Okay, just like that. Water! We have a water source! A reliable water source! You don't go nowhere, okay? I'd cover you up so you don't get filled with vulture poop. But I don't want to. Okay? Okay. Now, can we make it down without hurting ourselves? No! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. 
All right, we'll take on that spot. It actually even looks like, um, oh no, that's still grass. Okay, sweet. We're right on the border of bad land and good land. So that's good. There's farmland. Are these potatoes? I want potatoes and corn. Because with potatoes and corn, we can make good stuff. No, you're blueberries. Oh, you are potatoes. And a burgers and fries diner. Oh, yes. Okay, these potatoes are not ready yet i think these are potatoes anyways so this place is awesome i'm excited to stay here for a long time i don't know exactly where we're gonna make our bed our oh my gosh look look okay i can't pick it up can i shoot it almost <laughs> okay i can't shoot it those are explosives those are very bad I'll have to keep that place in mind. Maybe we should build in there since it already has explosives. Mm, what an idea. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I'm pretty excited about this map. Uh, just cross your fingers and hit the like button for good luck. It that Make sure it doesn't crap out on me, okay? That's what we need. Is there a backyard to this place? Yeah, there is a backyard. What's back there? A pool? There's probably water in the stinking pool. Yeah, I could have been in here the whole time. But I'm not going to jump in there because it'll probably drown me. All right, anyways, you guys, thank you again. Please come back next time for some more zombie action. You guys are awesome. You guys keep surviving.